Today I'm going to discuss a question from INMO 2005 problem 4. This is a question from Combinatrix. The question follows this way. Here it is given a six digit number uh, as an example. Take it 877550, which is in non increasing order. That is the this number this is the largest number and then after any number that follows eight are less than equals to eight that is it is seven here again this can be seven uh this number should be strictly less than equal to uh seven the second less than equals to five and this is less than equals to five right so this holds true so we need to find only such kind of six digit number such so that the position of the number is in the the 20 the 2005th number okay what will be the number at this position right for example uh, this is the smallest six digit number okay and then what can come next the next can come this thing right because any number after this should be smaller than one so this is one possible thing then the third can be this thing and so on okay then we need to find the 2000 fifth position number at this position okay so let's begin moving fix the range of numbers and count the number of ways in which they can be opted. I mean, what I'm going to do is that uh, first pick a number and make this one to work. So, Take a range of the number. So the smallest possible number as we discussed is this and take a range from all possible this thing. So this is our range and we want we want to count the number of numbers that can be of this form or that can lie in within this range okay now the second thing will be digit used other than the other than fixed part okay so i'll be skipping everything This is digits used other than the fixed part. So here, what is fixed here? One is fixed. So these numbers will vary. Okay. So what is the digit that can be here? 
uh, that can be zero and one, right? Apart from this x part. Okay, then let r is equal to number of such digit. So how many numbers are there? This two. And n is equal to the number of digits uh, like apart from the fixed portion, how many spaces are there available? So that is, sorry, this will be a five digit number. Oh, that's okay. So how many number? There are total five spaces. So five, five spaces need to be filled, right? So we will fix n to be 5 and maybe it will change somewhere later on and uh, then we'll do some kind of calculations okay and then after we will find the commutative sum Uh, suppose what we are going to do is that we are going to count the number of numbers which lie within this range and we'll take this many numbers are there and then we'll take the another range the number after this number okay what is the next number that is two zero 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 right two 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 and two correct so this is the second pair second uh, range of number so the number used are 0 1 2 the yeah, total number of numbers are 3 and we are fixing the 2 here right so one this five digit number will vary so here n is equal to 5 we'll do some operation and we'll count how many numbers are here and here and take the cumulative sum here okay and this with the process will repeat till our desired 2005th position. Okay, so let's begin. Has to be chosen and repetitions are allowed. Now, this can be done. In N plus R minus one C and base. Now, this concept has previously been discussed and for refer for reference. for reference in the description see tomato subjective problem number 51 so there we have discussed this concept how this thing comes so the link are in description let's see now I'm going to use this concept here suppose in the first in this case uh, in the case as given an example uh, or suppose take the other ranges to be this way uh, here we'll calculate n plus r minus 1 c n so this will be 5 plus 2 minus 1 that will be 6 6 c 5 all right so this will be 6 c 5 is equal to 6 right and here this will be 5 plus 3 minus 1 that will be 7 c 5 and this will be 21 so let's take the cumulative sum 
six, six plus 21 is 28. Then after, so in order to understand, there are 28 many numbers which lies in the range uh, 10 lakhs to this thing, 222, 222. Okay, so we need to find the 2005th, the number at that position, right? So the next number should we start proceed the same way. So the number used apart from the fixed portion, there are five numbers and in which uh, these are to be used. So, and three also, so four, and here's five. So this will be eight C five, that will be 40, right? So 68 and so on. So let's take one example, what we are going doing actually, and why these things are happening. Okay, so let me take this example for you to understand. 0, 1, 2. So what we are doing, take uh, r is equal to, uh, we took 0, 1, 2, right? 3. So the numbers are 0, 1, 2. And the places and n is equal to 5, right? This is what we defined. So this is not so we have n is equal to five. Now x1 let x1 is number of zero appeared. X2 is number of one appeared. X3 is number of two appeared here now in the five digit number let the number will be of the form uh one two three four five so six this number is fixed right the first position is fixed so we have five spaces and here so x1 many times zero will occur x2 many times one will occur x3 many times two will occur so total x1 plus x2 plus x3 many times the sum will be 5 because there are 5 spaces now don't count 0 1 or 2 they are just a symbol they are not a number for instance okay and after calculating uh the number so for example if 0 is 0 occurs for too many times one occur for too many times and two occur for one many times so if we have these cases then we can arrange it our order right so largest is two then one then one then zero and then zero so this is our order so we just need to find the number of ways we can just we can get up this form right so x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to five so where xi are greater than equals to zero right so we have used the formula this is n plus here r is equal to three minus one C and right and that is what we are gonna use so please ensure that you understand this concept what we are gonna do and this is 68 similarly for this two this right so here the number used r 0 1 2 3 4 in the number which are not fixed right here four is fixed and these are the numbers which are not fixed and here r is equal to five zero to four so the number is five and n is equal to five so this will be nc5 which is equal to 126 and the commutative sum will be eight six four uh two six eight one nine and one right you can better calculate and then so 
so here the number used are this r is equal to 6 n is equal to 5 so 10 c5 which is equals to 252 and the sum is Sorry, here 8c5 is 56. Okay, so I just the formula will be 8 factorial divided by uh, 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 3 factorial. So you can get 8 times 6 times 5 divided by 6. So I just missed out. Eight times seven times six divided by Six, right so this will be 56 and the sum will be 83 okay so these are the basic things they are 83 plus 126 so on calculating you get 209 and 252 plus 209 is 461 okay now so this number is this thing and r is equal to 7 and is equal to 5 again because here the number of unfixed part that is 5 now here will be 11 c 5 and on calculating you will get this to be 462 and 462 plus 461 is 923 and then okay so number r 0 to 7 this is equals to 8 5 12 c 5 which is equal to 792 and the result will be 1715 so you're seeing that the calculation are a bit uh, like it's to calculate the problem but uh, the concept matters and the calculation may be a bit easy uh, then after let's take uh, so it is already 1715 so we need to get the 2000 position right so now uh, very less numbers are remaining so let's some let's take some smaller number this time i mean that must start with eight uh, with uh, the range to be eight five 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 and five so let's try this so here the unfixed part is 0 to 5 right so that will take 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and r is equal to 6 n is equal to what 5 right so n is equal to 5 the sum will be 10 c 5 which is equal to 252 and 252 plus 1715 will be 1967 now this is very close to our calculation now let's take some bit more smaller number so take eight six so this two eight six six take more smaller uh, as smaller so this is fine so we need to calculate the number of number of numbers within this range okay so here the fixed part are 86 and the unfixed are this four digit number right so they can take the value from 0 1 and 2 so r is equal to 3 and the number of unfixed part is 4 right so this will be 7 minus 1, 6, C, 4, that is equal to 15, right? So 1, 9, 8, 2. So still some are remaining. So let's go a bit more. 
that will be this two this number so here again the unfixed part are only these three right not this okay because we are already fixing 863 because we need to count as small as possible right so because only few numbers are remaining so we need to find the number of numbers which are up to this range and the remaining we can calculate it by hand so it's two uh, as far as we can proceed here r is equal to three and n is equal to three so this will be five c uh, let's see here r is equal to three n is equal to three so n plus r minus one this is equal to yeah sorry this can take three as well right so r will be four so the calculation is a bit messy so this will be 6 c 3 right so 6 c 3 will be 20 and the result will be 2002 so the 2012th number is this this number 86 86 3 3 3 3 is the Is the number at 2004? Is the number at this position? So tell me what will be the next number. The next number will be 864000 and that will be present third and then 864100 and then 864110. See, this is 2003 4 and this is 2005th number right so this number is at the 2005th position okay so this is how we do this question the calculation was very messy and still we did that okay and this is how this problem is solved thank you and have a nice day